Hey Potters, it's Thursday. I know it's really late. Um, my aunt came and visited me today, Aunt Julie, so she just left, actually, so um, I have time to make a quick video, and it is going to be quick this time, I promise, instead of like last week when I promised it would be quick, and then it was like six minutes long. It's kind of the opposite of quick, but it's going to be quick. So, uh, first off, um, I'm going to try and remember everything that happened this last week, and Molly, unfortunately, I did not watch. I think I watched your video from yesterday. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, we'll see. Uh, Missy, nothing wrong with vlogging outdoors. I'm pretty sure that I'm becoming, that people are starting to call me the girl with the camera. Kind of like how there's that kid on campus who always rides his scooter. And not not like a motor scooter, like a little like one of those razor scooters that were all the rage when we were like ten. You ask anybody who knows about him about hey, do you know Scooter Kid? They go, I hate that guy. So nothing wrong with vlogging outdoors. You mean you should have something that you're known for, and at least it's not that you're Scooter Kid. Uh, Noah, new books, new books are always awesome. I have not read Android Karenina yet. I read Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters and obviously Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. And you should also read uh, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Yes, because it's awesome. You should read it. Yes, you should. Um, <clears throat> Brooke, I'm glad that you're able to pay off... Uh, pay off the car, pay for the car to get fixed. That's awesome. Uh, I'm glad that the money for that came in. So I'm glad thing, things are going are going better. That's good. Uh, Molly, Molly, it's always good. Uh, I, the last thing I remember from one of your videos is sitting there and watching you. Actually, there are two things. Um, your cute haircut. Your haircut's really cute. I like it. And um, your last video, I think, the one where you and Brooke were there and you were dancing into the Peacock song. Uh, Katy Perry's Peacock. So, um, Adam and I were watching it, and he thought that it was hilarious when you kept talking about the Malfoys. I thought it was funny, too. So, yeah. Um, it was good. It was nice. So, um, updates with me. Like I said, my aunt came to visit. Um, that was a lot of fun. Got to show her around campus and everything. I went to went to a Chinese buffet that's here, so it was fun. Uh, she bought me stuff from Walmart. This is always good. She brought stuff back. She brought stuff to me from home, which is also good. Um, it's Thursday. In fact, it's 9:30 in the evening on Thursday, which means that it's almost the weekend. Awesome. Uh, my roommate's sitting here laughing at me. That's okay. <laughs> um, uh, real quick, uh, theme for the week. Favorite book. Um, for the longest time, it was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, because I loved that. That was I thought that that was a really awesome book. <laughs> and I think that is really a turning point in the series, where the movies kind of not the movies. Uh, sorry. Uh, the books start to get darker. I reread the books over the summer in like two weeks. It only it took me two weeks because part of that was we were my family and I were in Disney World. But yeah, um, something that I noticed in the first books, in the first couple books, especially the first book, J.K. Rowling writes it like it's actually like she's actually speaking to you, at least in the beginning. Um, and that kind of go and that goes away throughout the book, I think. And in the beginning of the second book, there's kind of that, but then in the fourth book, it's um, that really changes. Uh, just the overall tone of the book, things start to get darker, and um, obviously because Voldemort's back. Uh, but then I'd have to say, and then the other books came out, so the fourth book is no longer my favorite. Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban was actually always pretty high up there. 
because uh, that was that was one where Voldemort himself didn't really appear. You don't really see him. Uh, the big villain in, that they have to face in that is villain is Sirius Black and then you find out that he's actually a good guy and then Wormtail pops out of nowhere and then there's crazy stuff and werewolves and time traveling and hippogriffs and oh my. So. <laughs> but I, I loved that one. And then so oh great I'm at five and a half minutes. Um <laughs> I'm rambling. Uh, favorite book? Overall favorite book? I would have to say the sixth. Is it the sixth book. I love the sixth book. Um, it's just awesome. I love the sixth book, the third book, and upon rereading the seventh one the first time, I was like, holy crap, there's so much camping. And then when I reread it, it was, there was still the same amount of camping, but then I knew it was going to happen, so it was... It wasn't like, okay, I'm waiting for something new to happen. Stop camping. Stop camping now. You can stop. It moved a lot faster. So, a tie between the third and the sixth, I think, and then the seventh book is pretty high up there. And I love Aberforth. But I, I, I think that part of it may be because of Aberforth. That scene where he's yelling at the Death Eaters in the middle of Hogsmeade. That's that's one of my favorite scenes ever. It's awesome. Okay, I'm running at seven, about seven minutes now, so I need to stop. Uh, so tomorrow is Friday, so that's Missy. So hey, Missy, can't wait to hear from you.